What is up everyone, it's inverted DL here with a brand new video. Today I will be talking about Backrooms level 500. But before that, I wanna give a huge thanks to everyone who subscribed to me, I have reached 500 subscribers. I deeply appreciate anyone who subscribes to me. Anyways, let's get into the explanation of this Backrooms level. Level 500. The survival difficulty is class 0, it's safe, secure, and is devoid of entities. Level 500 is a series of rooms and corridors bearing a superficial resemblance to the middle and upper decks of a United States Navy cruiser, identified as such by various plaques and equipment labels. Although this space continues for far longer and possesses a much larger area than such a ship's size would theoretically allow, the rooms within it appear to maintain a stable and fixed position relative to one another and the corridors that connect them. The majority of accessible space on this level is occupied by various types of communication and tracking equipment, including military transceivers and radar displays, as well as more commonly encountered items such as fixed phones and car radio sets. Unless deprived of a power source or destroyed, all devices on this level capable of transmission will continuously emit some form of signal, apparently independently of actual attempts to use them for their intended purpose. The amount of interference produced by this makes it impossible to communicate with anyone outside the level, or even, presumably, outside the limits of the corridors not blocked by electronic debris. Though the amount of overlapping broadcasts makes the majority of these messages difficult to decipher, they appear to be primarily distress signals transmitted via radio, usually utilizing Morse code or pre-recorded spoken word read by artificial voices in various languages. Occasional human voices have been reported to be audible as well, but none have been recorded to manage any coherent communication beyond distressed vocalizations and weeping, and did not respond to any attempts at interaction. Similarly, any navigational equipment present on this level is rendered unusable. Although none of the rooms and corridors constituting the currently navigable area of level 500 appear to have any exits allowing access to its exterior, the level's upper decks possess several windows through which the surface of an uninterrupted body of water and a clear sky are visible. This view remains consistent regardless of passing time, and does not appear to possess a day-night cycle or varying weather. Despite containing a large amount of active devices that would generally require regular maintenance to function, level 500 appears to be devoid of life of any sort. It is possible to safely enter it in groups, but these will never encounter other travelers. There are no known bases, outposts or communities on this level. Here is an audio recording recovered from this level. This level can be accessed via normal door on any other level, provided its frame is aligned to precisely face magnetic south. Due to the unreliability of most geopositioning systems within the back rooms, locating such an entrance is difficult. This level can be exited via any of the unlocked doors set into its corridor walls, as long as it is the same door through which the level was entered. Most exits will lead to the same level as their corresponding entrance, though not necessarily the exact same location. The reason for this is currently unknown. Well anyways, thank you so much for 500 subscribers.